I just did something that I hate when people do. I absolutely hate it. And I did it just now, so I apologize. And that is, I took <laughs> I took a sip of water and, you know, and, and made a whole lot of noise on a mic. I can't stand that. So, um, yeah, I apologize. This is super impromptu, so the lighting is screwed up and all that stuff. What a great night of music last night, man. Great, great night of music last night. Did my regular gig and then uh, did the Saturday night get down with uh, Ari Title, Nigel Hall, John Michael Bradford, uh, Brad Walker, Alfred Jordan Jr. Uh, just at the Blue Blue Nile here in New Orleans. It's killing. It's killing. Um, I'll, and I'll add some some clips of that. Um, but this made me think about, so my, my previous gig earlier in the day, um, and then the gig later on at night, and what I notice about my own technique, um, th something that I have to constantly remind myself of, and, and that is to let the amp do the work, right? Um, and not I, sometimes I tend to get like excited and I will like dig in a little too hard and um, yeah it, it, and then it just gets it gets you know it's appropriate some it, it appropriate it's appropriate sometimes but then sometimes you know shit just gets messy anyway um, but the first gig I was able to like play because our, our volume, it was still energetic, but the, you know, the volume wasn't all over the place. Everybody was kind of listening and, and things like that. Um, and, uh, yeah. So let me, I'm, I'm all over the place, man. I promise not to take another sip of water. Um, Cedric Brown, Andrew Collins. What's good, y'all? What's good? I should probably be in bed napping right now but it's hard for me to take a nap during the middle of the day anyway so what i want to show you i'm going to use marlo duque's back pocket grooves um hopefully this isn't let me see if i don't blast you guys out so simple groove just you know boom, cap, boom, cap, just four on the floor right in f and i think f minor right but as we know the minor we can think of minor as a two or three or a six right so for instance real quick f um, minor an f minor seven would be the um, two in the key of e flat there's E flat and here's the two right um, that F minor could be the three of D flat minor could be the six of a flat here's a flat major and I'm just showing a flat major in just like this one position but you know obviously you have to experiment right you got to move or move that around but I'm you know in the interest of time there's a flat F minor F natural minor but for this particular thing, just uh, I'm going to think about F minor as it relates to F Dorian. Dorian being the two, F Dorian being the two of E flat major. So um, if I, I'm on a five string, so here's E flat major. flat major. 
major like this. this sorry but what I'm gonna do is pick a position right and see if I can if I can groove with the scale and also keep my keep my damn nerves calm you know what I mean so I can think E flat major starting from the second note in that scale. Just that simple. Also, I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking down strokes right now. I'm like intentionally just doing down strokes. But my also my I'm not like digging deep into the into the bass. sorry that D that D is the major 7 of E flat it is also the 6 in F Dorian Place that a little bit. That um, where I start now. That. Playing a simple rhythm, um, real simple rhythm, using the diatonic notes of the scale, right? Um, hang on, y'all. Let me plug my computer in because I'm right uh, There we go. around that F it's it gets that that minor sound but and, you know that sounds like a major scale right the, all the notes are right but it, it ain't funky but if I think about it
another thing is that that hi hat. My thumb is, even if I'm not making a sound with that, I'm still trying to feel that rhythm. That I'm sorry, that that sort of I like to think about it like a river flowing under that groove, that bubble, you know. So now I'm, I'm thinking, now I'm seeing another, another part of that. There's that major, that E flat major scale. But my thing, you know, that's just showing me where the patterns are. Of course, I'm not going to use that scale or fingering all the time. I'm just seeing those, those, like those boxes, right? And then when I see those boxes, I realize that in the style of music that I typically play, the style of music that I love, um, Those are common like little boxes. So let's talk about that, right? On the internet, we there's so many videos and stuff about like double thumping and all this shit. All the shit. I shouldn't say it like that. I, that, that, that was that was weird. Um, there's a lot of content around that, right? And that, that there's nothing special about that. There's nothing hard about that. Um, uh, Like, like Victor always so eloquently, beautifully, simply says, it's just like using your, your thumb like a pick, right? So, um, so I did two thumps and an up up. If I want to dig more into it, I'll just bring my thumb back so I can, you know, I have more room to move under the string. Now I'm also trying to keep it, keep that same pattern, 
So let's say I, I, I build a groove off that pattern and then I want to add some fill type stuff, not fancy fills, but just simple fills or variations based on the F Dorian idea. What are the things that identify Dorian? What are the, what are the things that give it its Dorian-ness, right? Um, well, all of those minor modes are going to have a root and a minor third. So that's not it. The thing that the thing that decides that this is F Dorian is going to be that D, that note right there. That note is the six of the Dorian. It is the seven, the major seven of that Dorian's relative major. Here's what I mean. Here's the D. That's the thing that gives this F minor its Dorian-ness. That's E flat major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. There's that D, the seven, and it's lower octave, even lower. gives us this Dorian-ness, right? Phrygian, if we were thinking about this as the as Phrygian, remember, every minor mode is going to have a root. And that minor third, those are common, so we can't use that as the thing that identifies it as that mode. Phrygian has a flat two. So as opposed to... Because it is the three of D flat major, there's D. One, two, three. That would start our Phrygian, our F Phrygian. it it's phrygian -ness. in the interest of time what would be natural minor right f as the six of a flat major you have a one two three so there's that flat seven start there. Uh, so they play some wrong notes, but I'm aware that I played the wrong notes, right? And being aware that I'm where I'm supposed to be and playing the wrong notes makes it easier to get back onto the right. So what I did there was I thought, okay, now I have this idea. What feels better for me in the moment to where to play it? Or, or, or.
now I'm thinking of an, another idea. Maybe, you know, if I were putting a song together, maybe I could take those things and have an A and a B section or whatever. But now right there. Thinking of minor pentatonic. Um, I said I was in the key of E flat, right? So... That sound corny as hell. You've done it. sat down to, to kind of play and just kind of goof around today um, I was reflecting on last night and thinking that you know there were a couple of times where I was letting the physicality of what I was trying to do I was like like letting it get in the way digging in too hard not you know kind of just kind of going off and sometimes that's appropriate but then sometimes from in my in my case, gets messy and things that I want to execute I'm not able to execute because like too excited um, um, there's a drummer that I know who's a fantastic drummer um, and we've talked about it if he ever sees this it, you know it's not like I'm talking about how he's back this conversation that we've had in person but like sometimes we'll be digging in on something and he'll start getting like real excited you know um and what'll happen is his time will start getting goofy, right? And I think we're all like that, you know? That's why, you know, that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm like that, where things just start, you know, where it's like, breathe up. Oh, also, so what I was saying before about, like, what note defines its Dorian-ness. If you, there's no guitar or... I'm not talking. A short comedy sketch or piece. Dude, I'm not talking to you. Um, um, shoot, what was I going to say? Yeah. If there's no guitar or keyboard player or no part, like what you do as a bass player is gonna kind of def define that sound, you know. And you could pick those pick those notes that are gonna make it feel like whatever that is. So just playing that one note, that one G flat, I'm implying Phrygian, which is a whole different ball game now. I take that same groove, don't play the D, the G flat, but play, what's going on here? Don't play the G flat, but actually play the D, excuse me. Um, if I don't play the G flat, but I play the D, it's going to have a different vibe more Dorian vibe. going on with my phone come on now come on now it's not the app it's actually my phone i'm like damn near out of space on my phone but um 
Yeah. Now, all of those modes are going to have a minor seven, right? So that's also not that, you know, those are common to Phrygian, Dorian, and Aeolian. Two, three, six is that flat seven. But remember, Dorian is defined by that, that, uh, that uh, ray sixth. Phrygian is defined by that flat two. You dig? And then um, uh, Aeolian will have. Um, flat six two three four five six now phrygian will also have a flat six one two three four five six but dorian will have a raised six That's Phrygian. That's got that Phrygian thing. Dorian. Back to Phrygian now. Sorry. to Aeolian you see what I'm saying like if you wanted to shed you can take and you, you you can like take your practice time and say I'm gonna practice this but I'm gonna only think about this in this mode whatever I do I'm gonna think about it in this mode so if you know so then whatever licks or fills or whatever you want to do start taking them out of like the other modes in that scale for instance e flat major and we're already our groove is already in uh, uh f dorian so what would be the frigid with the three i'm not talking about going crazy i'm talking about just if you got a little a little spot Right? Ah. start to see all of a sudden now 
you see the the uh, the, uh, the 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 patterns in different places, right? So then you you know kind of I, I think sort of by osmosis, not by osmosis, but you know just during the process you find different places to play the same stuff, and it'll sound different in different places. Anyway, I should really go take a shower. I got a gig in a little bit. Got to bed at what I think was 3.30 this morning. And so, yeah, thanks for kicking it for a little bit. A little impromptu sesh. But uh, let me get on out of here get my life together, y'all. As always.